Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Long time ago, must be about 28 years ago, I had a go at tapping a thread in a piece of metal. It was part of my car and it didn't go very well. And I found out later on the reason why that was was because I was using the wrong size drill bit. I was using the closest equivalent I had. And when tapping threads, you need to use the right size drill bit the right tapping bit for the size of thread you want to cut. I didn't know anything about this at the time and it put me off the experience. Until last week I decided it was time to start tapping threads in acrylic um, because I'm, I've got a new laser cutter and I wanted to explore the possibilities of the material as well as the cutter itself so I thought it'd be really cool to be able to tap some threads in acrylic. So I looked up tap and die sets on the internet and a lot of them were similar to the one I had before which I didn't get on very well with but on Amazon I found these which are pretty cool. They're spiral ones that will fit in an ordinary drill driver and in theory they can do drilling, tapping and countersinking in one variable speed operation. I wonder if that's true, I thought. So I looked at the reviews. And some of the reviews, people were saying that they were breaking. And I thought, well, this isn't good. But it turned out these people were using them in metal, and sometimes quite hard metals. Now, obviously, there's lots of different types of these, and lots of different vendors. You can go on eBay, you can go on AliExpress, you can go on Amazon, depending on how much of a hurry you're in. On some of the reviews, people were saying they're absolutely fine for soft materials, and I thought, well, it says on the listing that it's fine for aluminium, and I'm pretty sure Perspex is not much harder, or probably not as hard as aluminium, it being a plastic. I don't want them for steel, let's buy a set and see how they are. So I bought a set, and here they are, and I thought I would tap some Perspex on camera to show you how they work. So let's have a go. First we're going to tap an M3 hole in a piece of Perspex and then put a nylon nut through it. Then if that goes well, we'll try a little bigger one. Wish me luck! Okay, a quick squirt of WD-40 on the bit. We're going to tap an M3 hole. Let's try and get the alignment right. And gently start. It's time to back out. Now I'll give it a bit of a clean up with some isopropyl alcohol. And it looks like I need to send a bolt through to chase out some of the bits. A bit more IPA. And now you should be able to see the nice thread we've just made. M3. Let's... drive a little nylon bolt through. See, that works a treat. Beautiful. Okay, let's try an M5 now and see how that goes. Okay, let's try M5. First of all, we'll put some WD-40 on the bit. 
and now we will do an M5 thread, making sure it's straight. Now reverse out. Okay. And then we'll try to give it a bit of a clean up. Let's see if my PA. Can you see that yet? It's still a bit full. So it's this hole here. Let's drive a bolt through. Now you should be able to see a nice, relatively clean M5 thread which you can easily thread a bolt into and it has some strength to it. Well that went pretty well so now we can engrave, cut and thread Perspex which massively increases our creative possibilities. That's a win. The only downside of using one of these is that you have to be very careful to get the alignment spot on. But if it really, really matters to you, what you could do is put this in one of those drill stand things that you can buy, and then you could have guaranteed perpendicularity. So, as you can see, it's really not difficult to tap a thread hole in Perspex, at least not with these and a drill driver. I'm very happy that they didn't break. I was a bit suspicious, but I thought for £10 I'll have a go and see how long they last. So far I've done probably about 20 or 30 taps with a couple of the different bits and no problems yet. So hopefully they'll last a decent length of time. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was another making video from Alex Eames at raspi.tv. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe.